guys, it's Joy here and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the first, first episode of my college meal series. I just randomly thought about this because I've been cooking so much, so I thought I would start this series. So if you're interested in seeing more college meal ideas, make sure you subscribe to this channel, thumbs up this video, and give me a suggestion of what type of food you wanna make. We're gonna be doing mostly, if not all, vegetarian meals, so just be aware that we are going to be eating healthy, healthy as in we're not going to be eating a ton of meat on these videos because I ain't about that life. So today we are going to be making a kava bowl. So if you're not familiar, there is a restaurant called Kava and it is basically a Mediterranean version of Chipotle. So I just got back from Trader Joe's. I spent about $30 for all the ingredients and we are going to make some kava bowls. So kava can be up to $15 for one meal. So I wanted to show you guys how you can just make it at home by yourself. So you're not spending all that money and things like that. There's literally a kava less than two minutes away from my room and I just decided that I was gonna try to make it by myself. So let's get into the video. So when you go to kava, they ask you for what your base would be. So I usually get brown rice and lentils. And then for my meat, I did falafel, but it's not meat. Falafel is not meat. I usually just get falafel. And then for my toppings, I got cucumber and tomato. And then for the sauces, I got hummus, tzatziki, feta cheese, harissa, black olives, some Middle Eastern flatbread, and some lettuce. And other ingredients you're going to need are olive oil, which we have over here. And then I'm probably going to just use some typical seasonings like pepper. And I think you also need, to cook the lentils, you also need um, broth. And I already have some vegetable broth, which I'm going to use to cook the lentils. The lentils are going to be the first thing I do because I think they take the longest. So let's read the directions on this lentil pack and get to it. So I know I need a pan for these lentils. So I'm just going to get that out now and see what else I need. I need broth, two cups, and some pepper, and a cup of the lentils. All right, let's go. Okay, <laughs> so I need a measure. So I got my measuring cups, a spoon, and our directions. So we need one cup of lentils and some oil. So we're gonna add some olive oil, which I usually do for like everything. Turn on our pan. We're just going to pour that in there. Then it says toss to coat for about one minute. We might need a little more olive oil because we got a coat it in it. Thank you. 
and we need two and a fourth cup of low sodium broth. It just so happens that this is low sodium broth. <laughs> I'm just gonna add that. And then it says, and some seasoning required. And stir that around. Set the timer for 12 minutes. Roger that. T minus 12 minutes and counting. Ooh. All right. Perfect. Okay, so next we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with these tomatoes. So I'm going to rinse them off and then we're gonna put some oil and seasoning on them. Okay, tomatoes are rinsed, so we're going to just, I don't know how many I should make. I feel like I should do them all just because I'm not gonna use these for anything else. Cause that kava, they're split in half. I'm also gonna take some Italian seasoning because I think that just goes good with tomatoes. So the tomatoes are prepped. Lastly, we have to do something with this lettuce and we also need to heat up our falafel. paper towel and it says one and a half minutes Ooh. so I'm going to put these tomatoes in the oven it's preheating to 350 but they just Lastly, we are going to cut up our cucumber and our lettuce. The last thing we have to do is just warm up the flatbread and open these olives. All right, we got olives out of the can. You know, throw that on there.
Hey guys, so I I just finished cooking. It took about 35 to 40 minutes and I'm so excited to eat my cobble bowl. After spending about $30 and measuring out the portions, it can make about six cobble bowls, which is amazing because that means it's about $5 per bowl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs> okay y'all this tastes really good this tastes like really good it tastes exactly like a coffee because of the sauces and like what could be different with like fruits and vegetables